In mathematics, algebraic spaces form a generalization of the schemes of algebraic geometry, introduced by Artin 1969, 1971 for use in deformation theory. Intuitively, Schemes are given by gluing together affine schemes using the Zariski topology, while algebraic spaces are given by gluing together affine schemes using the finer etale topology. Alternatively one can think of schemes as being locally isomorphic to affine schemes in the Zariski topology, while algebraic spaces are locally isomorphic to affine schemes in the etale topology. The resulting category of algebraic spaces extends the category of schemes and allows one to carry out several natural constructions that are used in the construction of moduli spaces but are not always possible in the smaller category of schemes, such as taking the quotient of a free action by a finite group cf. the Keel-Mori theorem. Definition There are two common ways to define algebraic spaces, they can be defined as either quotients of schemes by etale equivalence relations, or as sheaves on a big etale site that are locally isomorphic to schemes. These two definitions are essentially equivalent. <laughs> algebraic spaces as quotients of schemes An algebraic space X comprises a scheme U and a closed subscheme R U times U satisfying the following two conditions 1. R is an equivalence relation as a subset of U times U 2. The projections π, R U onto each factor are etale maps. Some authors, such as Knutson, add an extra condition that an algebraic space has to be quasi separated, meaning that the diagonal map is quasi compact. One can always assume that R and U are affine schemes. Doing so means that the theory of algebraic spaces is not dependent on the full theory of schemes, and can indeed be used as a more general replacement of that theory. If R is the trivial equivalence relation over each connected component of U, i.e., for all X, Y belonging to the same connected component of U, we have X R Y if and only if X equals Y, then the algebraic space will be a scheme in the usual sense. Since a general algebraic space X does not satisfy this requirement, it allows a single connected component of U to cover X with many sheets. The point set underlying the algebraic space X is then given by, U, R, as a set of equivalence classes. Let Y be an algebraic space defined by an equivalence relation S V times V. The set HOM y, X of morphisms of algebraic spaces is then defined by the condition that it makes the descent sequence H O M Y X H O M V X H O M S X Display style mathram hom y x right arrow mathram hom v x a top long right arrow a top long right arrow a top mathram hom s x Exact. This definition is motivated by a descent theorem of Grothendieck for surjective etale maps of affine schemes. With these definitions, the algebraic spaces form a category. Let U be an affine scheme over a field K defined by a system of polynomials G x x equals x one x n. Let K x one x n Display style k x underscore one l dots x underscore n denote the ring of algebraic functions in x over k and let x equals r u times u be an algebraic space. The appropriate stalks ox x on x are then defined to be the local rings of algebraic functions defined by our u, where u element of u is a point lying over x and our u is the local ring corresponding to u of the ring. K x1 xn g of algebraic functions on U 
A point on an algebraic space is said to be smooth if ox, x k z1, zd for some indeterminate z1, zd. The dimension of x at x is then just defined to be d. A morphism f, y x of algebraic spaces is said to be etail at y element of y where x equals f y if the induced map on stalks ox, x oi, y i s an isomorphism. The structure sheaf ox on the algebraic space X is defined by associating the ring of functions O v on V defined by etail maps from V to the affine line A1 in the sense just defined to any algebraic space V which is etail over X. <laughs> <laughs> algebraic spaces as sheaves An algebraic space X display style mathfrak X can be defined as a sheaf of sets X school S et O P sets display style mathfrak X sad face text school S underscore text et carrot op to text sets such that there is a surjective etail morphism H X X display style H underscore X to math frac X. The diagonal morphism delta X S X X times X Display style delta underscore math frac x s math frac x to math frac x times math frac x is representable. This is equivalent to the property that given any schemes y z display style y z and morphisms h y h z x Display style h underscore y h underscore z to math frac x. Their fiber product of sheaves h y times x h z. Display style h underscore y times underscore math frac x h underscore z is representable by a scheme over s. Display style s. Note that some authors, such as Knutson, add an extra condition that an algebraic space has to be quasi-separated, meaning that the diagonal map is quasi-compact. Topic: <laughs> Algebraic spaces and schemes. Algebraic spaces are similar to schemes, and much of the theory of schemes extends to algebraic spaces. For example, most properties of morphisms of schemes also apply to algebraic spaces. One can define cohomology of quasi coherent sheaves, this has the usual finiteness properties for proper morphisms, and so on. Proper algebraic spaces over a field of dimension 1 curves are schemes. Non-singular proper algebraic spaces of dimension 2 over a field smooth surfaces are schemes. Quasi-separated group objects in the category of algebraic spaces over a field are schemes, though there are non-quasi-separated group objects that are not schemes. Commutative group objects in the category of algebraic spaces over an arbitrary scheme which are proper, locally finite presentation, flat, and cohomologically flat in dimension zero are schemes. Not every singular algebraic surface is a scheme. Hironica's example can be used to give a non-singular three-dimensional proper algebraic space that is not a scheme, given by the quotient of a scheme by a group of order two acting freely. This illustrates one difference between schemes and algebraic spaces. The quotient of an algebraic space by a discrete group acting freely is an algebraic space, but the quotient of a scheme by a discrete group acting freely need not be a scheme, even if the group is finite. 
Every quasi-separated algebraic space contains a dense open affine subscheme, and the complement of such a subscheme always has codimension 1. Thus algebraic spaces are in a sense, close, to affine schemes. The quotient of the complex numbers by a lattice is an algebraic space, but is not an elliptic curve, even though the corresponding analytic space is an elliptic curve or more precisely is the image of an elliptic curve under the functor from complex algebraic spaces to analytic spaces. In fact this algebraic space quotient is not a scheme, is not complete, and is not even quasi-separated. This shows that although the quotient of an algebraic space by an infinite discrete group is an algebraic space, it can have strange properties and might not be the algebraic space one was expecting. Similar examples are given by the quotient of the complex affine line by the integers, or the quotient of the complex affine line minus the origin by the powers of some number. Again, the corresponding analytic space is a variety, but the algebraic space is not. Topic. Algebraic spaces and analytic spaces Algebraic spaces over the complex numbers are closely related to analytic spaces and Moisson manifolds. Roughly speaking, the difference between complex algebraic spaces and analytic spaces is that complex algebraic spaces are formed by gluing affine pieces together using the Etail topology, while analytic spaces are formed by gluing with the classical topology. In particular there is a functor from complex algebraic spaces of finite type to analytic spaces. Hoff manifolds give examples of analytic surfaces that do not come from a proper algebraic space though one can construct non-proper and non-separated algebraic spaces whose analytic space is the Hoff surface. It is also possible for different algebraic spaces to correspond to the same analytic space, for example, an elliptic curve and the quotient of C by the corresponding lattice are not isomorphic as algebraic spaces but the corresponding analytic spaces are isomorphic. Artin showed that proper algebraic spaces over the complex numbers are more or less the same as Moisson spaces. Topic. Generalization A far-reaching generalization of algebraic spaces is given by the algebraic stacks. In the category of stacks we can form even more quotients by group actions than in the category of algebraic spaces the resulting quotient is called a quotient stack. <laughs> 